Hi everyone, I hope you're well. Um, welcome to another yoga practice. Um, today we're going to, maybe a slightly shorter practice today, but what we're going to be thinking about is releasing the neck and the jaw. And uh, the reason it's a slightly shorter practice is because once we've found those stretches in the neck and the jaw, we don't want to keep going back into them. So we'll, we'll move through some movements, some stretches, some releases for the neck and the jaw, and then we'll let it stay soft. Um, so in order to find that softness right at the end of our practice, you will need a prop for today's class. And the prop that I'm going to ask you to grab is just a simple cushion. So it could be that when you sit in your chair for your restorative, for your um, chair yoga practice, you use a cushion behind you. That cushion will be fine. You can use that cushion for what we're going to do at the end. Or you might just want to grab a cushion or a pillow from off your bed, from off your sofa, um, that you can keep nearby so that you can grab it when we come to the end of our practice. The other thing that you're going to need is to be able to put your chair against the wall. So um, I've got a clear space of wall behind me and at the end of the class, not during, I'm going to keep it away from the wall during the class, but at the end of the class I'm just going to bring my chair right up against the wall and you're going to want to be able to join me in doing that. So for now though, we'll come to sit in the chair just a little bit away from the wall and keep the cushion nearby. So it doesn't need to be, um, unless you've tucked it behind you for extra comfort, you don't need to worry about where the cushion is just yet. We'll start, as we usually do, by finding a comfortable position on the chair. Feet planted on the floor. You don't need to be, see my feet today, so I've cut them off. But my feet are firmly planted on the floor, and I'm sitting just a little bit away from the back of the chair so that I can support myself in an upright position. Once you've found yourself comfortably seated like that in your chair, your hands can rest wherever you like, maybe on your knees in your lap wherever feels comfortable for you. You might want to take a bit of a wiggle through the body and then we'll bring ourselves into stillness. We'll bring ourselves into stillness, into softness, maybe closing down the eyes. And we're not going to spend too long here at the beginning of the practice, but we are going to just take a moment to pause, to notice how the body feels. In particular, maybe paying attention to the shoulders, the neck, and the jaw. Do they feel relaxed? Or is there some tightness around the neck, the jaw, and the shoulders? Is there some discomfort, maybe? Or is it soft and easy? Just noticing, not judging, not trying to kind of find opinions, but instead just observing how things are in the body. When you feel ready, see if you're able to start to notice your breath. And throughout our practice today, we're not going to change the breath. We're not going to force the breath to go at a different speed or to be bigger or to be smaller. Instead, we're just going to use the breath as it is. But it's good to know where that breath is in the body and what its natural rhythm feels like. We're going to take a couple more breaths here in stillness and then we'll start to add some movement. So when you feel ready to begin to add some movement here, you don't even necessarily need to open the eyes. All we're going to do is start to turn through the head, start to move through the neck. So with your exhale breath, let your chin drop to your chest. Big stretch in the back of the neck, in the top of the shoulders, maybe. And on your next inhale breath, whenever that happens naturally, you're going to tilt your chin up towards the ceiling as if you're tilting the face up towards the sun. We'll do that again. Chin to chest with your exhale breath. 
and then maybe the eyes are open, maybe the eyes are closed, your choice, but you're going to lift the chin as if you were tilting the face up towards glorious, warm sunshine. Last one, chin touch to the chest. Chin lifts, raising up the face. And then you'll bring the chin back to neutral. So back to its normal position. And all we're going to start to do is turn the opposite direction. So when you're ready, on an inhale breath, turn your chin so that you're looking out towards your right. Exhale to come back through to centre. You're keeping your chin level the whole time as best you can. Inhale, look over towards your left. I like to think of this as sort of a uh, exhale to come back to centre. I like to think of this movement as sort of a, a kind of ballerina chin movement. So the, the ballerina's chin is always level to the floor. It's always, the head is always in that kind of upright, very graceful position. We'll look over towards our right on an inhale. And then when we get there to that final point of resistance, the last place you can look to, see if you can send your gaze, your eyes back to the room behind you. You might notice a little bit of a stretch in the muscles around the eyes when they do either. Inhale to come back to centre. And then we'll look over to the left when you're ready. Taking your chin over towards the left, turning the head to its point of resistance, so the place that you can get the most turn to, and then you'll look back. So looking back towards your left, looking back towards the back of the room, just your eyes going back. Inhale to come back to centre. Very nice. From here, we're going to start to find a little bit of movement through the um, uh, kind of face and the jaw, and we're going to get to that by using the hands to help us. So a little bit of self-massage or movement manipulation assisted by the hands. So when you're ready, use an exhale breath and let your head drop, your chin to your chest one more time. You're going to bring your hands together and just check to see whether your hands feel warm. If your hands don't feel warm, you might rub the hands together to generate a bit of heat between the palms of the hands. So you're rubbing them quickly together, using that friction to generate some warmth in the hands. And as soon as the hands feel warm, which might take a little while, but as soon as the hands feel warm, bring the palms of the hands over your eyes. So the hands are warm on the face, they're not obstructing the nose, but the palms of the hands are just gently covering the eyes. The head is hanging into the hands. From here, I'd love for you to be able to keep the muscles of your neck this relaxed. And we're going to allow that to happen by using the hands to lift the head and stack it back on the shoulders. So keep the neck switched off, use the hands to bring the head back to upright, stack the head on the shoulder. From here, blink the eyes open behind your palms if they were closed. And we'll start to slide the hands down the face. The light comes in between the cracks in the fingers. And then the hands are going to slide across the eyebrows and onto your temples, the sides of your forehead. These fingers are now going to start to stroke down the sides of the face past the jaw. And they might do that a few times. You might do one at a time. Or you might do both at the same time. You might do two hands together, stroking down, or maybe one hand and then the other hand, your choice. But what I'm doing as I stroke down the side of the jaw is I'm using my kind of first two fingers, you can see my hand slightly spread out, first two fingers to put a little bit of pressure against the jaw, against the space just in front of the ear. And you'll know how much pressure feels like a good fit for you. It's very hard to talk and do this because the jaw is becoming so relaxed. It's hard to keep speaking. We'll do this a couple more times, stroking a little bit of pressure just in front of the ear as you come over the jawbone. And then we'll move the hands so they come down onto the sides of the neck. And we're going to use one hand at a time, hand over hand, I'll show you how it looks, to stroke around the sides of the neck. So we'll start over on the right. Your right hand is just below your right ear. Your left hand is gonna come in underneath it or just next to it. And all you're gonna do is stroke right hand, left hand. Right hand, 
left hand. Moving around the front of the neck. When you get to your windpipe, so running in line with your chin, you skip the centre because it's not nice to put pressure against that. And you'll keep going left hand, right hand, left hand, right hand, left hand, down the back behind your ear. And then you'll just change direction and come back the same way. Stroking the front of the neck, one hand, then the other. As much pressure as feels good for you. We'll go one more time, stroking back past the front of the neck. But you can do it gently, with a bit of care. And then, when you come to the last little stroke through the neck there, you're going to slide both hands onto the back of your neck. And as you slide the hands onto the back of the neck, you're going to interlace all 10 fingers behind the back of your head. So the fingers interlace behind the back of the head as best you can. If it's tricky to get all the fingers to knit together, see if you can just hook your, big, uh, hook, hook your first fingers together. So you've got a little bit of support for the hand. So maybe just hooking index fingers at the bottom of the neck is a good enough shape. Once you've got the hands behind the head, you're gonna use the hands to add a little bit of assistance to a stretch in the neck. So as you breathe in, lift up through the back of the neck using the hands. And as you breathe out, let the chin fall to the chest, let the elbows relax, let the hands hang on the back of the head. So what I'm not doing here is pulling. I'm just letting the hands rest against the back of the head. And what they do is they increase the sensation in the back of the neck, the top of the shoulders, and maybe even in the back of the body. My elbows are completely relaxed. My shoulders are completely relaxed. Take a last breath in here. And as you breathe out, you can let the hands slide away from the back of the head. Bring the hands back to the lap just for a moment so the head can just recover for a second. And then, one more time, we're gonna bring the right hand to the forehead and use the right hand to stack the head back up onto the shoulders. Let the right hand release down. The muscles of the neck should feel really relaxed at this point. So we're trying not to use them to do too much. We're gonna stretch out the sides of the neck now. So when you're ready, you're going to release your right ear over towards your right shoulder. So right ear drops towards the right shoulder as if you were trying to hook the phone between your shoulder and your ear, apart from you let your shoulder drop down. You're letting your whole head hang towards the right. There might be a big stretch down the left-hand side of the neck. Sometimes stroking down the left-hand side of the neck can feel lovely. That might work for you. That might feel like a good place to be. And we're just, as, as we did before with our head coming forwards, we're gonna use the hands to provide a little bit of assistance to encourage the stretch. So in your own time, you're gonna bring your right hand up and onto the side of your head. So it comes onto the left side of your head, as if you were a supermodel taking a very avant-garde uh, pose. You're gonna let that right hand rest against the left side of the head, encouraging the stretch, but not pulling against the head, just allowing the weight of the hand to do the work. From here, you could choose, if you want to, to reach out through your left hand. So your left arm starts to reach out for the opposite side of the room. If any of this feels too intense, you let go of that last little bit. So maybe you don't want the hand, maybe you don't need the hand on top of your head. But maybe you're reaching out through your left hand, using the right hand to encourage the stretch in the side of the neck. We're going to take a last breath here with this type of stretch. And then, when you feel ready, you're going to release your left hand back to your lap. Move your right hand around onto the back corner of your head and just tuck your chin in as if you were going to try and give your own armpit a big sniff, but you don't need to do that. All you're doing is tucking the chin in and down. So the stretch rolls from being down the side of the neck to being in the back corner of the neck. From here, we're going to release the right hand very gently away from the head. Leave the head exactly where it is. Roll the chin through to the middle. Let the head just hang for a moment. Left hand comes onto the left palm, sorry, comes onto the forehead 
and you're going to use the left hand to stack the head back to the top. And then you'll release the left hand down into the lap. We're going to do exactly the same assisted neck stretch on the other side. And remember, just doing the bits that work for you, just doing the bits that feel nice in your body. So when you feel ready, the left ear drops towards the left shoulder. As if you had the phone hooked in between the ear and the shoulder, but you're going to let the shoulder drop down. Lots of space down the right hand side of the neck. From here, if you want to, you could choose to add on. So bringing the left hand up and over and onto the side of the head. And you're not pulling, you're just letting the hand rest against the head, the warm, the weight of the hand, the hand drawing the stretch a little bit more. If you want to, again, you might choose to do this on an inhale breath, you could reach the right arm out. And when I say reach the right arm out, I don't really tell you which direction to reach it in because you can kind of satellite the right arm around and look for the delicious kind of place that makes sense for you to reach into um, in your body. Again, it's all very, it's quite tricky to speak and do these things because the neck and the jaw are just becoming so relaxed. When you feel ready, you're going to release the right hand back to your lap. You're going to move your left hand onto the back corner of your head and you're going to tuck your chin in and down as if you were going to give your armpit a big sniff. Don't do that bit. Just let the chin tuck in and down. The stretch rolls from being underneath your ear to instead down the back of your neck. We'll gently release the left hand away from the head, bringing it back to the lap. We're going to roll the chin through to centre. And we'll use the right hand, right palm comes through the forehead, use the right hand to lift the head back to upright. Very nice. Once you've found yourself here, we're going to make a couple of bigger movements for the body, a couple of bigger movements for the neck. I want you to try and come into these with that same idea that the neck is relaxed, the jaw is relaxed, and you're not using the muscles of the neck to do any work. So we're going to come into two shapes, and both of them are going to involve us having the hands on the back of the head. So when you're ready, you're going to gently bring the hands onto the back of the head, the elbows can be relaxed, they can be out in front if that is useful to you. And on your breath in, you're going to use the hands to support the head as you let the head fall backwards, lift through your chest. Breathe in. Let the head just fall backwards. Exhale, tuck the chin in, let the head fall forwards, pull the belly button to the spine. So stringing those two movements together. Inhale to lift the chest, to let the head fall into the hands. Exhale to let the hand support the head back to the top to tuck the chin in. One more time like that. Inhale to the top. Let the head fall back against the hands as much or as little as makes sense to you. The hands support the head completely. Exhale, tuck the chin. From this position, you're going to inhale Draw a little bit of length into the spine, lift upright. And as you exhale, you're going to let the elbows fold in all the way down until the elbows rest maybe against your knees. With the elbows resting against the knees, the body is in a forward folding shape. If this is too intense, let go of the back of your head and just let your elbows rest on your knees and your head hang. If you're quite happy with the grip, you're going to use the grip to draw the head downwards. Remember, you're sitting in your chair, your feet firmly planted on the floor, so you've got this nice stable base. So you're able to let the back body unwind. When you feel ready, we are going to release the hands from the back of the head, if you haven't done so already. Your hands will slide onto your knees, and you're going to use the hands against the knees to push yourself so gently back in your chair. The head doesn't come up, the head stays heavy. The head stays heavy, hanging towards the chest. Use your left hand, bring the left palm to the left, bring the left palm to the forehead, 
and press the head back to upright. Release the left hand down. So those are our big movements, we're done with those. When you feel ready, you're gonna bring your chair back against the wall. So support yourself completely in doing this. So you can use hands on the chair to bring yourself to standing up. And you're just gonna slide the chair back against the wall. And you're gonna make sure that your cushion is with you. So bring your cushion in here. What I'm going to do is slide my bottom right the way back to the back of the chair and sit back against the wall. And what that should mean is my head can touch the wall behind me. That's what we're after. The head should be able to touch the wall behind you. You're gonna take your cushion, sit forwards a little bit, and post your cushion down your back until the cushion is just in line with the base of your skull. So the top of the cushion, I'll show you it from the side. This is how the cushion is positioned. It's against the shoulders, and the top of the cushion is just in line with the base of my skull. So when I lean back against the cushion, my shoulders are on the cushion, but my head is on the wall. So that should provide total support at your neck. So you should be able to just let your body go and your head should feel more or less held in this position. And if it doesn't feel completely supported, grab the corners of your cushion and just bring them in around your neck a little bit as you kind of wiggle everything into place. The head should feel completely supported, the cushion supports the shoulders, and the neck is held by that top edge of the cushion. You might feel ready to close your eyes here. Your hands can rest wherever they feel comfortable. Your body can lean back against the chair. You're letting the breath move in and out of the body at its own pace. And you're more than anything just allowing the neck and the jaw to be completely relaxed. Soften through the throat, the front of the neck. Soften and release the back of the neck and the top of the shoulders. Soften and release your jaw. So you might think about the actual jawbone itself, relaxing, releasing. You might think about the insides of the cheeks, relaxing, inside the mouth. The tongue could move away from the top of the mouth and come to rest the base of the mouth. The teeth are just slightly separated, the lips are lightly closed. Relax the muscles of your cheek. Around your eyes. Your forehead. Let the body drop into stillness, feel completely relaxed. When you feel ready, in your own time, you might begin to deepen your breath slightly, maybe wiggling your fingers and your toes. Just wiggling your fingers and your toes, your eyes could stay closed, you might want to make some movements at your wrists, at your ankles. And then when you feel ready, you could gently blink your eyes open. Maybe you want to seal your practice here, perhaps bringing hands to heart center, bowing the head to the heart or anything else that feels like a good uh, way to close your practice.
thank you so, so much for joining me in this practice today. I really hope that you've managed to find some relaxation, some softness around your neck and your jaw. Just go really carefully as you bring yourself out of your chair and see if you can keep that softness in the neck, the shoulders and the jaw for the rest of the day. Thank you so much. I'll see you all really soon.